Hello and welcome back to the Peach TV. Today is Motivation Monday, episode five. And if you guys are new here to the YouTube, um, we are live on Twitch right now. And what I do every single week with this series of Motivation Mondays, uh, the whole point is to bring on a different streamer every single week to interview them, to understand uh, kind of their journey, to get into a little bit deeper behind the scenes and understand their 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 their, their successes and some of their struggles, and uh, maybe get some tips from them on how they grew and what they're doing today to to continue to grow and grow their channels and grow their community. Uh, and I'm so happy uh, to, to have another episode. Um, we are live on Twitch and what we're going to be doing is talk for around an hour or so and then open up the questions in the chat for you guys to ask me or whoever I have on that week. Uh, so if you're watching this on YouTube for the first time, make sure to come over to Twitch, hit the follow button um, because we are going to be uh, live every Monday doing this type of thing. So we're excited to have you here. And tonight I have a very special guest that I would love to introduce to you guys. Um, if you don't already know, this is Grantis, who is a community games variety streamer who you can find mostly playing games with his viewers like Minecraft, some Roblox, some Jackbox party packs. We got Fall Guys and even some Valorant and Overwatch. Uh, over the years, Grantis has grown over to 15,000 followers across all of his platforms and is almost at 16,000 followers on Twitch. So go hit him with that follow. The links will be down below in the description. Uh, Grantis is so awesome. He's helped over, uh, he's helped raise over $3,000 by being part of some amazing charity events on Twitch in support of We Won't Go Back and Care.org. Grantis is so much fun to be around. His energy just flows through his streams uh, and I can't wait to dive deeper into his journey and you guys are going to see exactly what i'm talking about during this interview grantis welcome to motivation mondays man i'm so excited thank to have you, you here. for having me this is very surreal i've watched <laughs> a lot of the episodes so it's crazy to be <laughs> finally on it hell this yeah crazy. hell yeah thank you very much i'm happy i'm happy that you're here i think uh yes. i think this is gonna be a a, a great conversation i think so too <laughs> um how are you doing today I'm doing perfectly fine. I was very hyped earlier for, yeah. for this. I was getting ready. And yeah, I'm glad everyone's everyone's here enjoying it so far. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It seems like the Grantis crew is here. We love to yes. see them. They're here in chat. Love they to see it. They were spamming at the beginning. I'm like, guys, let him <laughs> let him think. <laughs> no, we love it. We love it. It's all good. We we, we can uh, so let good. the moderators, you know they'll have some they'll, they'll have some work to do it's totally fine um so like i said uh we're gonna we're gonna talk for about an hour i have a couple questions okay. lined up for you grant this we're gonna do a full-on spanish inquisition we're gonna get into the deep deep stuff that you never spoke about before reveal all your secrets yes okay <laughs> and then uh like i said we'll open up uh questions to the chat Okay. Uh, Sounds good. Later on. So I know that I explained a little bit about uh, your stream and stuff like mm -hmm. that, but you know, tell us. I want to kind of hear from you. You know, tell us about your stream. Tell us what you do. Tell us what your 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 goal is. You know, tell us what your your yes. your so, raison d'être is, if you know what that means in French. <laughs> <laughs> you know, your reason. No <laughs> it means okay. your reason for being. You know, like yes. Why do you stream? Tell us about your stream and what you do. I stream. Um, honestly because it's really fun for me and i've been streaming for like such a long time like over oh my gosh over five years i've been streaming um and like i started like on a little little laptop oh my god <laughs> and i yeah. didn't have much but you know <laughs> i built up my stream over the years and nice five oh years gosh. you said when's your um when's your stream anniversary do you know which day you started streaming no, <laughs> no? I, don't, I don't know the exact like i know that the month i, I usually just type <laughs> in my chat and i look at my own like subscribe how long i've subscribed <laughs> yeah that's smart like, oh. that's smart <laughs> and i do the math and i'm like i think it's like around this time let's have a celebration <laughs> all right all right so you celebrate the whole entire month forget it you're you know yeah. you're you go next level people just do mm -hmm. one stream day you do the whole month to celebrate. Oh, we, i love it we go the whole month <laughs> yeah i love it man so mm -hmm. and then I mean, five years, Twitch has been around uh, not much longer than uh, five years. I feel like it's been around for like, I don't know, 10 years or so. 
Um, but yeah. have you have you been on Twitch like before you were streaming? Were you a viewer before or? Yeah, before I was on for like, I don't know, I would say maybe a year and a half or something. Okay. And like I joined Twitch like as a little kid and I was like, what? I was very confused at first. I was like, what is this? <laughs> Why are people watching people play games? Like, I was like, OK, OK, I kind of get it. And, I, and then I like kind of like like was more interested in like the YouTube side of like creating videos and stuff. And I didn't really look yeah. into streaming until like a couple years after discovering Twitch. Okay. And then that's when I really started streaming like with my cousin. And that's how I like kind of discovered it, got into it. Okay. Was it your cousin that like inspired you or was it, you know, finding other streamers or YouTubers mm. that were doing Twitch streams? I think like we both kind of hyped each other up and like yeah. we both were watching like other creators that like were doing pretty cool things on Twitch. Like I don't know, like IRL things. So like okay. actually when I like first started streaming, I like wasn't even playing games at all on my channel. Like okay. I just we I would have my phone and my cousin would do like these live vlogs and we would like travel around like san diego and stuff cool. and it was really fun <laughs> it was just like i don't know something that we just kind of exper experimented with and then yeah, yeah. later we got into like more just chatting and then like gaming and stuff and that's where i've stayed and like done gaming a lot cool and your cousin is uh do they still do they still stream um, he doesn't stream anymore. He like got he's like a pilot now. He okay. got, he's a lot of <laughs> he had a lot of stuff to do. And so he was in college. He's a little older than me, so he Okay, was, cool. Yeah. He doesn't do uh pilot vlogs on Twitch. Live oh, uh, streaming from the pilot. Live streaming <laughs> pilot that would be cool actually. Yeah, from the cabin. It'd be sick. Hey, that, that's an idea. <laughs> bring it up to him. Yeah, why not? Do you do you still do some uh, IRL streams like that? I've thought of it like I I've tried to before, but it's just like really hard to with like the app that I was yeah. using to like stream on Twitch. Like Streamlabs does not really it was like a really bad app. Like sometimes it would just okay. like disconnect and stuff. There was a lot of technical errors, which is why I like kind of stopped doing it as much. But okay. it was really fun. Yeah, I I thought you were talking about the Twitch app because I tried to do some IRL oh. streams from the Twitch app and it is it is rough. It is rough, but I it's had some yikes. spotty like connection. So I wasn't sure if it was Twitch yeah. or if it was I feel like the they internet, can make you know? that so like if like yeah. they can make it like TikTok live or they can make it like true. I don't know, even sideways, like instead of making it because did you hear Twitch announce that like. Oh, it was on their official platform of Twitch. They're like we're making IRL streaming better. And they like introduced like, I think something where you could stream like up and down, you know, like TikTok, but like okay. no one really streams like that on Twitch. <laughs> so like everyone was like just trashing on them in the comments. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, but there's like, no way to watch the stream that way. Everybody's stream is going to be like this, but then I it's going to be cut. You know, that's, that's so weird. Like, because when I went on the Twitch app, you can rotate your phone and then it'll, it'll change for you. Oh, anyway, yeah. it's a mess it's a mess it's, so okay yeah. i was just i was curious if you still do those IRL streams maybe one day we'll get them back maybe one think? day and also like <laughs> now before i wouldn't be able to like just go live on like my phone on tiktok live like now i would probably do more of like an irl stream maybe on like tiktok live mm. or something and like not do it i don't know yeah, on yeah. twitch it's just a lot harder but we'll see yeah, sure I mean, I feel like we can get some cool stuff because of uh, like doing it through Twitch, you know? Yeah, but true. TikTok Live works and it's a different... Uh... Have you seen the IRL backpacks? I've seen them, but I don't really, I didn't really look into it too, too much. I don't really They're know what, so what's in there. Expensive. It like oh, yeah. connects, it connects to T-Mobile, like uh, Verizon, oh, yeah. all the things and like okay. all connects it and so that your stream like, n like rarely has... You know troubles yeah and yeah. but it's like that's smart or thousand three <laughs> it's like yeah it's for the uh yeah if you're gonna go all yeah. in our i mean it's a full computer in your backpack you know really yeah and absolutely. then you need batteries to charge everything keep it going so yeah yeah yeah, yeah. 
And then um, if you're traveling out of the country, you need like some other service. It's like a whole thing. Oh yeah, true. Oh yeah, um, four hundred dollars a month. That is insane. Yeah, that. I mean, if you have uh, enough subscribers, then it's kind of you know. Yeah, true. Paying for it, right? Like. Yeah. XQC is so. like, give me that back. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's easy. <laughs> it's yeah. easy for XQC. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. So are you, uh, you're in school right now, right? Yes. What are I'm you studying? Um, right now? Well, I was in computer science. Okay. And it was just like a lot of math for me. And you know, <laughs> me and math. <laughs> Real close. No, I'm just kidding. no, I hate math. <laughs> okay. I don't know why, but it's really hard. So I switched to business marketing and that's where I'm at right now. Slowly getting nice. it done, you know, good stuff. And how um, much longer do you have left of school before you could be a full-time Twitch streamer? <laughs> <laughs> um, hopefully not long. Hopefully not long. I'm getting tired of it, but yeah, you know, how fine. many semesters left? A couple of I years or what? It's probably, yeah, a couple of years. I'm doing it like more slowly doing my college because like I also have a job like I do Twitch, of course, but I also sure. like do DoorDash and that's how I make some of my money. I nice. also I like um, go down to Mexico like one time or one week out of the like every other month. Like it's it doesn't happen very often, but OK, I uh, go to like this clinic in Mexico and it's like this like free dental implant clinic and okay. i do like help out with that and it pays that's cool well, so. <laughs> that's so amazing that's so, um, that's so cool i didn't yeah. know that and in doordash how often do you do that i do that like every week like a couple days maybe three two times a week nice cool well you just like schedule the whole day to do that or no well, sometimes do do sometimes I, it depends like um I will schedule usually for like the afternoon and then sometimes I will even like stream before that. <laughs> oh my God, busy days. Stream. <laughs> <laughs> plus, plus the math days. homework. <laughs> yeah, plus the math homework. <laughs> and sometimes I'll stream after that. Oh man. I'm kind of insane. Okay, I don't you got have an IRL stream from the car and do doing the DoorDash. <laughs> no, people have it's actually perfect. said that. They're like, why don't you like IRL stream your DoorDash? And I'm like, okay, first of all, I, I would have to have two phones. One to do the DoorDash, one <laughs> to do the stream. Ah, so. That's a lot. Costco, they're like 200 bucks. <laughs> oh, <laughs> bro. Maybe, maybe one Easy. day. <laughs> Special At stream. least it's not like Uber, you know? It's not like you're filming other people. It's just you yeah, and a true. box That's of pizza. true. You know? That is true. Yeah. I wouldn't have to like <laughs> ask anyone or anyone. Hey, you want to be on my stream? <laughs> yeah, sure. They don't have to sign a waiver or anything. Yeah. Seriously. Cool, man. <laughs> but yeah. And then people also like kind of, I don't know, talk. They're like, DoorDash, DoorDash pays like $10 an hour, Grantis. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> but also like in my area, the DoorDash like is pretty good. So like, it yeah, it really does depend on your area. And then I'm sure, yeah. If you're in, if you're in a major city, I'm sure you're making you know good money, decent, at yeah. least minimum wage. At least if you're making minimum wage, it's worth it, right? Exactly. Got to pay your exactly. uh, pay your gas too, I guess. Yeah. Or whatever. They have like some like some sort of deals or something. It's weird. What do you mean? Yeah. Like you could get like when you use their card, you could get like cash back for gas, like a percentage of cash back. Okay. Cool. <laughs> I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Um, so, I mean, well, what are your goals of streaming? Because you're in school, you're working all these jobs all over the planet, international <laughs> worker over here, Mr. Yes. 305, Mr. Worldwide. So, like, what are your goals of streaming? Are you, are you, do you goals, wanting to go honestly, full time or? Honestly, I am wanting to like go full time and like kind of put my all into streaming. I really do want to get like which partner eventually because like I've been in many communities and like i've seen that transition from like affiliate to partner i've witnessed it in like so much actually like maybe four or five of my friends that have gotten partner nice. which is like really cool <laughs> and yeah. like really, a really cool thing to see when you like are in someone's stream and they're like you, you see that process of the growth you know mm. and it's like very i don't know i like it 
It'll happen. It'll happen. I know it. Yeah. I know it One for day. sure, man. <laughs> Yeah, man, your community is uh, is 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 awesome, and they they come in force. So, you know, <laughs> you do. got it, you got it. So, we'll keep boosting you, and definitely with this, we'll be uh, we'll be putting your mm -hmm. name out there for sure, even more. So, we'll Yay. get you to partner one day for sure, dude. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> what are the? But it's what, also like, I I feel like once you hit the requirements, like sometimes they don't like. You have to hit those requirements, and sometimes you have to keep them for, like, yeah. a while. Definitely. Definitely. The, the requirements, to me, are just, like, a guideline. Yeah. Like, like, you know, if someone were to ask me, I would tell them, like, if you're going to apply for a partner, like, you should be averaging at least 90, at least, mm -hmm. before you even, you know, apply for a partner. Because, in my opinion, I mean, there's not really much, there's not too many benefits you know, besides, yeah. yeah, it's a great achievement. You know, it's a great milestone. Mm -hmm. It's like you worked hard for it, you know, and you built this awesome community. Fantastic, right? But, uh, you know, yeah. I, I, People I know they like hype it up too much, you know. I they think, like, you know, I don't know. <laughs> like, if you it's can get 75, you can get 90. You know what I mean? Yeah. So get the 90, go above and beyond. And then when you apply to it, just like, yeah, easy. You know, whereas when you're hovering at the 75, exactly. they're going to watch you for a couple of weeks, make sure that it's legitimate, you know? Mm -hmm. So, I don't know, in my opinion, I would always kind of make sure it's a little bit, a little bit more than that, you know? So, yeah, true. You'll get there. You'll get there. We, uh, we'll all get there. And everybody here watching too. Yes. If you guys are watching this, you're on, you're on the road to partner, baby. You're, that's true. <laughs> we got you. We're helping. You're ahead of a lot of people if you're yeah. watching this. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So, I mean, but do you have any other goals like beyond beyond going full time and uh, becoming Twitch partner? Like what mm -hmm. what do you want to like share with the world? You know, like what what is what do you want Grantis to become in a couple of years down the line? You know, what do I want? Or today, if you could, if you had a million followers, you know, what's what's Grantis's <laughs> a million followers? Purpose? I'll be an entertaining <laughs> legend. <laughs> hell yeah, hell yeah. So many followers. Um, I don't know specifically. That's you think you still run uh, Roblox community games with a million followers? Uh, <laughs> I think, I think you'd be the only one that could do it. <laughs> that yeah, there's like I feel like once you get to that point too, where it's like that many followers, like people do have a lot of expectations of like what you're going to do on stream or what you're going to play or like it's very sure. like i don't know it is it is a lot to think of right now but like <laughs> i don't know we'll see we'll see well it's always nice to to dream a little bit you know to think yes. about uh those exactly. awesome uh awesome future you know we set the goal there we set the dream <laughs> there and then every day we put a little That's bit of work into goal. it manifestation you know? <laughs> yes oh yeah i'm big on manifestation mm -hmm. so uh good stuff man so um i like i like to ask this question sometimes so since you're you know you've been watching twitch for a long time who is your favorite streamer to watch these days who you've been watching who've you who um, you been keeping an eye on my favorite streamer is i don't well actually it's kind of like hard to pick i don't know i would say like I don't know. Pick a big stream. <laughs> like I don't know. <laughs> who do you like to? Who do you like to watch after your stream? I guess I you watch know, like Mizkif a lot. I watch like XQC. I watch like those big streamers. But then mm -hmm. there's also like a lot of like my friends that I of course support on Twitch and like like Ali stream is one of my favorites. I would say to a lot of people from this who are in this stream right now have come from that stream oh, because yeah. like I am a mod in Ali stream and like. I feel like a lot of people like have come over from her and it's like so nice because I feel like my community before that was not was not as like it wasn't as big as a community. First of all, like Ali, Ali's crazy. She supports <laughs> very much. So I appreciate that. That's huge. So you got you guys. I mean, you guys do the similar things. Is that why your communities yeah. are meshing well? Mm -hmm. I would say like she's more of like a, a Roblox kind of content creator. Okay. Um, and then I like do Roblox, of course, but also like other other games like Minecraft and Valorant and stuff. Um, yeah, yeah. But yeah, we both have like similar vibes, similar streams. So what was it, the first game out. that you streamed on Twitch? My first game <laughs> was Fortnite. 
Nice. Oh. <laughs> I feel like everybody's first game was Fortnite. <laughs> My first game was Fortnite and I had no cam. It was on a laptop. It was nice. 15 FPS. I don't know. Oh, it was like, it, it was bad. <laughs> hey we all it have was... to start somewhere i started on a laptop too, i know man. i know <laughs> like actually though like people i think people now are like you have to i don't know people have this like thought where like you have to have the best gear or whatever to stream yeah you yeah. really don't like you could start from and like people could see that too when they come in to your stream and they see that you're on a laptop and you're you have a shitty mic and you have a shitty webcam and you're still trying yeah, you're still true. putting in that effort every day yeah like or not every, you know, wherever, however much yeah. you stream, like people are going to see stream. that, you know? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I agree. Um, and you don't need, you know, I mean, everybody takes, oh, this is something I want to say. Everybody takes like XQC as an example mm -hmm. and says like, oh, he has a shitty webcam and he has a shitty yeah. blah, blah, blah. And like, look, he's the biggest streamer on Twitch, but like, I'm going to be honest, he is an exception. Anything he mm -hmm. does, you nobody can really be like, well, XQC does it. I can do it. <laughs> no, you can't. I'm sorry. Yeah. He's literally the exception. You know, True. even the biggest streamers that are are you know in still in the top ten, top twenty, he's just he's just wild. You know, he's just a whole hmm. other beast. This guy streams literally twenty four seven. <laughs> you guys can't stream twenty four seven. Nobody can stream. I don't suggest anybody How? stream twenty four seven. How? You know, he's always live. Always. How? so it's it, it just he you know it doesn't it's not the same it's not the same thing mm -hmm. um so i think putting in the work putting in the effort you know is it it does come a long way and show people that yeah. you care you know but you don't need True. to have all that amazing camera and lighting and mm -hmm. setup and all that you know you can it's, still be as very successful as a no cam streamer there's so many yeah it's also more fun to start your stream as like a little you know this little setup or whatever yeah. Like your overlays are crap. And then like as you grow your community, you get better overlays, better True. emotes. And like your community sees the progression of your stream instead of like one of my friends who started streaming, who doesn't stream anymore, literally started stream with like he paid so much for like this crazy overlay, like all these cool emotes. Oh, and like and like it was a lot, right? He streamed for like <laughs> weeks and oh said, boy bye. <laughs> it's a bye. that's what that's true you know oh. you gotta just do it and try to see if you even like it before you spend yes. who knows how much money exactly. you know you gotta you gotta see you gotta try it for yourself that's why i say if you want to start streaming go no cam you could put a little mm -hmm. picture you know take yeah. your little uh pepe frog on your sweater i love it by the way <laughs> and oh, put him you. as a it's little uh, merch <laughs> oh, nice 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 Nice. you know you put a little yeah. uh, png tuber exactly and then you try streaming for a little bit nobody can, if, if you can create content you don't need a camera to create good content mm -hmm. you know people you can really hear don't. you they can you know it's I like you have watch, a microphone like a lot i watch a lot of streams that aren't they don't like have a camera and like sometimes i'm like sometimes i go in there and i don't even notice that they don't have a camera because their stream is just like <laughs> it's funny and it's it's entertaining and yeah, like it's true they don't need it like yeah some people you know it's better i don't know you, it's up to personal opinion but yeah you could definitely think, stream without cam yeah i i agree it's kind of like um it's kind of like on the radio when you're listening to someone on the yes. radio you kind of like picture and imagine them mm -hmm. how you how you want to kind of it's your own type of i don't know it's different you know you can picture them in their setup you yeah, know, because there's no cam, there's a little bit more. It's like reading a book versus watching a movie. It's kind of like that, Back. you know. Some people and like reading like the books. Some people like the movies. A lot of people already do that on Twitch. Like they're listening to the stream. Like some people don't even like you know watch the stream. They're just you know playing games and like true listening anyways. So that's true. It, it does work. So what's the, yeah exactly? You don't even need a cam if they're most people are lurking anyways. You know, Twitch is a mm -hmm. big lurk uh, lurk thing. Yep. um yeah it's very true you guys don't need uh the big stuff and then you could put up goals on your stream sub mm -hmm. goals and things like that and you get the community face to help reveal. out <laughs> you know face reveal you could do that but there's been a lot of uh, streamers that i've spoken to that um they find artists in their community and they make emotes mm -hmm. or they make overlays and they want to contribute and be part of the community yeah. and, and maybe they can't you know support 
uh, by always being in the streams or can't support financially, but they could say, hey, I could draw you some cool emotes and stuff like that. So uh, you don't always need to go out and, and spend spend crazy money, you know. Plus, there's a bunch of ways to get free emotes. Um, you know, there, there's there's ways around it, you know. Yeah, true. Um, yeah, man. Your what? emotes are pretty nice. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I like your emotes. <laughs> I always uh, use them. Uh, thank you i appreciate that <laughs> i worked on them with uh with my girlfriend actually we uh we oh, made them all together so sweet. yeah nice. there's one emo and it's just a picture of me and uh it's the uh craigasm version of me <laughs> and uh someone from chat clipped it and sent it to me and i was like okay let's <laughs> let's do it, it. <laughs> that's amazing yeah it's pretty good it was i don't even remember what the clip was but I wasn't even trying to do that, and it, it, it was perfect, you know? So grabbing pictures of your face is also another good way to make emotes, And, like, emotes, that, you know? too, creates a moment, too. You, like, take that person, what, what they sent you, you made it into an email, and that person yeah. will remember that forever. They're like, True. that's my, like, I made that, you know? It's, like, <laughs> yeah, a funny moment for them. <laughs> I think he even made um, a YouTube video to go along with it to be like this is the emo nice. i have to find that youtube video it's, it was pretty epic Perfect. i hope it's still uh, up on youtube <laughs> oh man cool i love it what other um what other little like tips i guess did you did you figure out or things did you figure out along the way from your stream that originally you thought you know oh i should have like a or that are like myths you know like oh we said now that you don't really need a cam you don't really need all this nice stuff oh, myths i'm you trying know? to think what's something else stream that, myth. Uh... Ooh, imagine you do a series stream mythbusters we could do it <laughs> with grantis yeah, the peach and grantis, grantis. <laughs> oh, i'm trying to think i don't know myth do you think that it's possible for a streamer to be successful with with without talking to chat i think uh, i think it is like there are all like those streamers that like are 100 percent in focus in the chat like they'll read every message out loud like yeah then there's those streamers that like kind of you know will will scan the chat like they'll still read it but like they don't have to read every single one out loud and yeah. i i don't know i kind of prefer those streams a little bit more because it's just like less like i don't know chaotic and stuff um yeah but I don't know, totally ignoring the stream chat is like, <laughs> oh, you know, like you're just showing up there and you'd be like, all right, guys, this is what we're doing today. And like, you guys just type away. It's as if it's like a I sidebar, mean, you know, people yeah, are just chatting I feel on their that own. There are a lot of like, actually, it makes sense, though, to do it like, like how we're doing now in a show or whatever, like that makes right. sense. Like you've you've definitely seen those streams that they're like playing a game and hundreds of people are chatting. They don't yeah. not you know yeah it's yeah, like no it's impossible you're yeah. not really talking to chat you'll read one message that that kind of gets slowed exactly. down on the screen you know but uh you're Bro, kind of talking really to chat hard. as a whole and then also like i don't know so i i heard this one time where a streamer like kind of made this community like everyone in the chat right is spamming like lol like laughing or whatever right and like okay. they all feel involved right in the right. stream because like they're all kind of spamming the one thing right it's like you don't need to give that individual attention to every single person like read their message respond it's like yeah they're all kind of part of the stream and like they're all you know it's already like you're giving yeah. them that attention yeah true if that makes That's sense true. Yeah. yeah no it's true i think that there's different types of of streams you know there's there's just chatting streamers that it's like yo i'm here for the conversation let's talk mm -hmm. let's engage i want to get to know you individually as a as a viewer as a member of this community as a friend yeah. like well, how are you you know like let's mm -hmm. let's talk right and i think that there's a side of twitch where people come on just to just to make friends and just to chat with other people in chat yeah. chat with the streamer too and That's then there's the sometimes <laughs> yeah that is a vibe for sure and then there's the I other like side of things where it's just like you know what i just want to watch the content and and not, yeah. not care too much you know so uh i think i think that there's the two two sides of it true um I feel that we were talking about um emotes before what mm -hmm. uh what inspired your your twitch emotes where does the whole mantis Man grantis <laughs> thing come from well <laughs> mantis rhymes with grantis true. and also <laughs> I just like was called Grantis for a really long time. Like it was just a nickname for some okay. reason. Like 
my family would call me that and my friend like i think just like mate my friend who i used to hang out with um in my neighborhood he just like randomly called me grantus mantis one day and i was like okay. hey this guy has, that guy has a ring to it <laughs> Don't bring up Grantus Pantus. Oh my gosh. Do you want me to tell you a funny story? <laughs> yeah, go. Of course. <laughs> I like rarely like wear like like long like jeans. Like I always just wear like shorts. Also, I live in like California, so it's usually like Yeah, I was about to pretty. say. <laughs> yeah. So the one day I freaking wore pants to my school, people in my school were calling me Grantus Pantus. Oh my the god. All day. <laughs> Because you're a shorts guy, you yes. know. Now you come yes. in, you change the whole funny, thing. Though. I, I did, I did find it funny. <laughs> I, and, and on stream, do you wear that. pants or do you wear shorts? I don't wear pants when I show. You don't wear pants at all. <laughs> I'm, just I'm just kidding. Uh, to be, <laughs> um, you wear shorts. I, no, I wear shorts. Yeah. You got that it. is a meme. That is a meme actually in my community. <laughs> oh it's, yeah, they think I don't wear pants when I stream, and I'm like, guys. <laughs> They're like, stand you never up, get it. up. <laughs> They're like, prove it. I do. Sometimes I get, get up and I show them. I'm like, guys, I'm wearing pants. Like, chill. That, what you what know, are you on about? Make sure they're not clipping it. You know, that's kind of weird. Yeah, yeah true. It's kind of <laughs> sus. Kind of <laughs> sus, guys. I don't get up every time. Every time the channel tell me to stand up, sometimes I'm like, nope. <laughs> oh, man. You don't like walk onto your. You should do like yeah. a fashion show. Like, walk in, you know, boom. <laughs> they see the outfit check. Boom. You gotta do fit checks. <gasps> oh. Oh, yes, I, I've been seeing a lot of people do the channel point fit checks, you know? Oh, yeah? Yeah. Can we get a fit check right now or you're not wearing any pants? <laughs> do you know what? Do you want to see my pants that I'm wearing right now, actually? <laughs> yeah, we need see? proof. <laughs> we need proof. Twitch, Twitch. pants, Twitch shorts. Let's Twitch go. Shorts. <laughs> I'm wearing them, you guys. I nice. wouldn't come to this interview without pants. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Did you get those at TwitchCon? No, I. No. My mom always, like, she doesn't know what to get me for like my birthday or Christmas or something. And she's okay. like, it's a Twitch streamer, Twi Twitch merch. That's perfect. <laughs> and I have smart. literally a lot. I, have oh, a lot. Yeah? I probably have the most Twitch merch. Out of any anyone. streamer? No, I'm just, just kidding. That's probably. I mean, maybe. Oh, that's a cap. You no, should I take a, a picture lot. of all your Twitch merch. And, I you know, should. for cloud. A little pile. Be like, at Twitch, why, why am I not part your partner yet? Let's go, dude. I bought dude, all your merch. Oh, and this this little teddy bear I did get from TwitchCon. It is a it's a teddy bear and it has a um like a Twitch hoodie. Little jacket. Like? Yeah. It has a okay. Twitch hoodie. It's, it's I love cute. the cushion. I love the cushion too. Oh, the cushion. oh yeah, the cushion. Yeah. Yeah. How was TwitchCon yeah, no. this year? Did you enjoy it? TwitchCon was very, very fun for me. I know you guys <laughs> on last episode. True. It was a whole different, different experience. Yeah. Different experience. But for me, it was very, very fun. I got yeah. recognized. Oh, yeah. It was crazy. Nice. I didn't That's think always a I good would feeling. get recognized. I, I mean, you have, so, you have so many followers. You're all over Twitter. You're all over uh, TikTok, Twitch. Of course. You it, was, recognized. it was crazy, though. And then they walked up and they're like, are you great? And I was I also had my mask on. I'm like, how the okay. hell? <laughs> and I was like, and I was like, yes. And then it was Simba Quill who I put her her sticker right here, right, right there. That's her sticker that she okay. gave me. <laughs> nice. I know Simba Cool. You do? Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. She's super nice. <laughs> and she walked up to me and I was like, ah, my gosh, Simba. And we hugged and everything. But That's it was awesome. so cool. Who else did and you see? Did you go? Uh, did you see Cat Mama Tamago? I saw Mama nice. Tamago like every day. I oh my God. Nice. <laughs> it was so funny. How come um, you guys kept bumping into each other? Well, she like always would hang around the mix it up booth. And okay. then I would like walk by and be like, <laughs> like right up to her. And then I got like this cool, like I met the like, creator of Mix It Up and he's really nice. And he gave me like a little like, goodie bag with stuff. It was cool. cool. Do you use Mix It Up or no? I do use it, <laughs> but I just recently started using it. Yeah. Like, it, I watch so it's kind of funny because I watch so much Mama Tamago. I like watch all of her videos and i hadn't started using mix it up until like a couple weeks ago yeah <laughs> but i still watch <laughs> like all of her content it's kind of funny yeah me too she's been talking about it for so long and i'm like man yeah. i have so many bots already like you know i gotta <laughs> I, I gotta figure this out you know and then finally mm -hmm. started using it. it it's a bit it's a bit confusing i gotta admit no yeah that's why there you are know. tutorials that's yeah. why 
Thank God yeah. for Mama Tamago, man. True. <laughs> she needs to make then, an official series, I think. Yeah, no, she she definitely could. Uh, <laughs> and then I met like Cat Liente, you know, yeah. you know Cat Liente, of course. And of course. she had a like, it was like a meet and greet kind of. It wasn't like she didn't have an official meet and greet. Okay. But she was like, <laughs> she was getting surrounded by oh people. I had, to, I had to wait a little bit to take a photo with her. She was. She was crazy. Nice. Yeah, I but. remember her doing some uh, a meet and greet like outside or something. Like she planned it herself. So that's cool. Oh yeah, the boba thing. That was cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. She was giving out bobas. Yeah, that's super fun. That's like a boba. really cool idea. Yeah, I, I like that. Like more more streamers should do that. Cause it's so much better. Like you could go to TwitchCon, right? You set up. You have your own official like meet and greet. Yeah. You don't get a drink boba with the people that watch your stream. True, and you're I, stuck inside in the gross air. Like, be outside, it's more fun. Yeah, you know? exactly. What else better. about TwitchCon did you like this year? What was, uh... I almost got out? kicked out. Like... Oh my god. <laughs> like, okay, so, I'm my friend. My friend, Miss Ash Rocks. I love her. She's a, um, Valorant streamer. She streams... Um, she, she had, like, had her face, like, on the, like, posters for, like, TwitchCon and stuff. Like, oh, really? She, yeah, I was. Cool. She didn't even know that was happening. Like they just like did it. <laughs> Wait, seriously? Are they allowed yeah. to do that? Apparently. What? She goes, I, she goes Grant, I had no idea that they were good. And I even took a picture um with her in front of like the giant like you know printout of her face. Yeah, yeah. Were, like, it was what the legendary. Heck? But so, I mean, typical Twitch not asking. I know. <laughs> or so letting weird. her know at least you know even if yeah. it's in our twitch affiliate agreement that they're allowed to use our stuff like come exactly on. like still let her know because <laughs> she could have probably like kind of hyped up too, like to her community like look like they're actually i think they're gonna do this you know like i don't know but still, i guess it's cool but um That's cool. the meet and greet i saw miss ash rocks there and i was like oh my gosh i want to like go in the meet and greet right there's one giant line to okay. then get into all these other lines. Okay. <laughs> She's next to Amaranth. Amaranth. The line is super, super, super long, all the way to the very end. Oh my god. Then her line is like not very long. She's like not really like a huge creator. Like she's big on Twitch, but she's not okay. Amaranth. <laughs> she's not like a, like a giant streamer. So her stream, sure. I mean, her line was not even that long. And I was like, I'm I'm gonna go under. I told my brother, I'm like, I'm gonna go under the bar. I'm gonna go under and I'm just gonna hop in that line. I'm like, I'm not waiting in that super long line to then get into the little teeny one, right? Yeah, yeah. So I go under and I actually went under because I saw some other people do it. So I was like, they're doing it. I'm like, there's my time. It. I'm like, this is my time. I'm gonna do this. Oh boy, and this Grant girl is getting kicked out. Screams at me. She's like, like, no, no, you can't do that. You can't do that. And I'm like, I'm like, I, I'm just I I know her she's my friend and I don't want to wait in a really long line and then and this really like buff guy walks over he's like oh god hey dude kid. <laughs> and I'm like <gasps> I was like okay <laughs> my bad I, I backed up my back behind the bar and oh, man. it was sad we had to wait through the longer line but it, it ended up being like not crazy long but still <laughs> oh boy Grant is almost getting, what was that on your first day. That was on, I think, no, my second day, I think. Second day. Pretty crazy. Grant is almost kicked out. Love it. And then Saikuno, too. Like, he definitely did get kicked out. Like, I did hear something about that. Yeah, he didn't have, like, an official, like, meet and greet because he moved to YouTube, of course. And, mm -hmm. like, so many people recognized him in, out in front of the meet and greet line that they started creating this giant line. And they were like, oh, my you know, gosh. danger, like, fire code or whatever. So they, like, had to kick him out because he was creating... <laughs> And like he was supposed to go into the meet and greet to like see his friend. Like he was supposed to go in there, but the security's like, "Oh, you don't have a partner badge. Like you can't." Like, oh my god! Was but he was going like, in as like a viewer. Yeah, he had a community to go badge like, on. Well, like he was going because he knew the person who was doing the meet and greet, so like wanted to go like see her. But yeah, like, yeah, they were like, because he doesn't have the purple badge, of course. So they're like, "Who are you? like?" They just thought he was like. <laughs> Some weird fan. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who the hell are you? You don't know her. Oh, come on. Yeah. Oh my crazy. God. It was so would so you go cool. back again next year? Yeah, I would definitely like. I, this was actually my second time going, so okay. I kind of yeah, already I gonna... like knew kind of what was what to expect and stuff. Did you know not to jump in the foam pit? 
<laughs> I actually went in the form pit at TwitchCon. Oh yeah, this year? But yes. Oh my this god. Year. But but okay. So me and my cousin <laughs> walk by the Lenovo foam pit, and I'm like, and my cousin's like, uh, 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 should we do that? And I was like, oh gosh, I'm like looking at it, and then he, my cousin, noticed that it was being oh, like what? live streamed, and okay. he was like, he's like, no, like being live streamed we shouldn't do it and i was like oh, okay yeah i don't, don't want to do it and then <laughs> we ended up going to the other one that was next to it there was, there was two. two phone pits no yeah. one ever talked about the other phone pit i didn't know this i i know here's okay. the exclusive the other phone pit, phone pit was from wendy's and they actually had like pads at the bottom i got beat three times i fell what? three times off of the podium and like was perfectly fine what the because heck? they actually had pads how did nobody talk about the Wendy's foam pit? <laughs> no one talked about <laughs> it. How did no one be like Lenovo did a big mistake, but Wendy's did it right? Yeah, like exactly. What? They should have like like Wendy should get a little uh Yeah. You know? But <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> oh my god. They okay, did it right. right. So make sure you're at the Wendy's foam pit when you mm -hmm. go to TwitchCon, yes. guys. That's yes. that's the tips that you guys came here for tonight. And right? it was on video and everything. Ali was filming it. It was with my friend. Um, uh, 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 why am I blanking? What the heck? <laughs> but anyways, it was really fun. And also, um, there was like a really cool like artist booth, and like there was v like VTubers at the artist booth. Isn't oh, that really? kind of crazy? Like, we're, VTubers went to TwitchCon. But, like, how? I thought they were going to be, like, digital. Were they really there in person? No. They were, like, there's, like, a monitor, right? And it's set up, oh. like, sideways. And they, like, had a camera on it. And it was live streaming, like, the people walking by. And, like, people could walk up and, like, interact with the VTubers. Which I thought was, like, that's, cool. that's freaking cool. Yeah. Because that wasn't a thing. Last Twitch, I didn't see that at all. That's definitely well, I mean, there's were. so many more VTubers. There's, you know, and so it was many Poly like, Swags, by the way, Poly Swags. I went on the foam pit with. It was so funny, and <laughs> and it was in Ali's vlog. It was so cool. funny. No <laughs> we need hurt. to see that. You need to send me the link. I need to watch. Yes, I need to see the Wendy's foam pit. I don't believe it. It exists. No one, and not you, one person spoke about it. <laughs> yeah, and you fought with these, like you know, those like uh cut uh toast like fries. What are they? A French toast. The French toast like strips. Okay. <laughs> Why Wendy says French toast eating now? each other? <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> but like they were like these giant like fake you know padded French toast tips and you yeah, were yeah. eating each other with. Oh, them. at least they were padded. That's good. You yeah. Know? Not like exactly. actual baseball bats. Yeah. It was. It was good. <laughs> no one. Very no cool one man. died. <laughs> no one died. That's good. I mean, maybe it was a, I don't know. Anyway, let's move on from the, from that part of uh, TwitchCon. Yeah, but, of uh, course. <laughs> Not a so what, what would you, what would you give as a, as a, as a tip to people that are thinking of going to TwitchCon? Like, is there a certain point that a streamer w would say like, it's worth it for me to go or not worth it for me to go? Mm -hmm. Like, when do you think a, a, a streamer that's starting out and growing their channel should I go would to TwitchCon? say it was like completely different from the first time I went to the last the second time i went when was the, was the first, first time you went 2019 okay was right the first COVID. time yeah right before covid okay and it was like i didn't i was, I was a streamer but i was like i don't know maybe i had 800 followers 600 followers it was like i didn't really know anyone okay so i i mean i did know like the big streamers of course i took pictures with them but it wasn't like like this TwitchCon was so much more fun because I like actually got to see like my friends, the people that I've been seeing like on TikTok for like, you know, ever since I've started my page and stuff. Like it was super yeah, cool. Yeah. It was definitely better than the first time, but yeah. Okay. So you think like that streamers should wait a little bit until they're more like known mm. and have more friends and have more like yeah, of maybe. a network? Maybe, yeah, that, that could be a strategy. But then there's also the other side to where there's, like, a lot of useful information. There's, like, panels and stuff that you can go okay. to. And, like, you can actually learn a lot from that as, like, a small streamer. Okay. I don't think I, I went to a single panel when I first... You didn't go to the one with uh, Kat Liente and Mama Tamago? No, I went to the one uh, for the second time I went. I went to the Mama Tamago panel. 
I don't okay. think Cat Liente was in it, but Mama okay. Tamago was, and it was super useful. It was okay. like talking about like how to balance IRL and content creation. Okay. Nice. Yeah. And mm -hmm. do you do you find that that's something that you struggle with? Like I would say streamer? yes. <laughs> yeah, with your DoorDash yeah. job, your Mexico job, oh yeah, school. <laughs> it's stressful sometimes. I have to juggle it all, but yeah. you know. It was helpful. Like there was some cool advice that they gave and like about burnout and stuff and how to like kind of uh like know you're burnt out on content creation and like to take breaks and stuff. It was it was useful. Yeah. What are the some of the things that you do as a streamer to kind of keep yourself in check? Mm, something I do. Like do you have a stream schedule? Do you Oh, I don't really have, you... I don't have a stream schedule because I think that stream schedule makes me more <laughs> out of, like, out, like, out of, it's too stressful for me to have a stream schedule right now because of, like, school and everything. Yeah, Like, yeah. it's, I've tried in the past to have one and I couldn't, like, keep it super consistent. And also, like, I feel like it's better to kind of just stream, like, when I have the energy and, like, I'm feeling 100%. Because mm. there was moments where, like, oh, I'm starting I have to stream in an hour. And it's, like, I was not feeling it. And then it's, like, I don't want to force myself. Sure. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Do you at least have, like, some sort of a schedule where you, um, like, post, like, every week and say, like, okay, guys, this week I'm going to be doing this? Or is it really just, like... You don't know when you're going to be streaming. Oh, I kind of just like will usually post my TikTok. So then because uh, I'll like stream after that and be like those TikToks will kind of like promote my stream. OK. Um, And that I see will work sometimes. And then there's also like, you know, of course, streaming on TikTok as well while you're Twitch streaming, which I recently got the OBS key. That is nice. Oh, so well, full. Nice. That was nice. That was like a huge moment in my stream. And also like I don't know, for some for some other people it was like different. Okay. Like they hey, yes. <laughs> um for people it was different like they unlocked it a different way, but I had to like go on a call with the people at, from TikTok. Okay. Like Really? Yeah, like they called me on Discord and I had to like talk to them and stuff about like my stream and stuff. And then they gave me like access to the stream on OBS. Like everyone else just like kind of got it. <laughs> That's I don't so know weird. what's different, but I think I, I might have got it a little bit earlier though. I don't know. It's weird. Okay. I never heard of that. I, I heard people were like signing up and like registering to things. And then I wasn't sure oh, yeah. how it all worked, you know, but then, and for me, I just got a notification that says I could just start streaming through TikTok studio. So I just downloaded TikTok studio Ooh, and yeah. I was just streaming through that. I didn't even need a key. So I don't, I don't, I don't know what that whole key business is, you know? Yeah. The key it's so, no, it's so stressful too. So what you have to do is you have to like, you would have to go live on the TikTok thing. It gives you like, your server and your okay. key. You have two things. You have to rush to go paste them into OBS. What the <laughs> like, heck? Yeah, and then you have to click go live, and then you see it pop up on your phone. Oh my it's god! Okay, like stressful, right? Okay. And the then, new TikTok Studio is way simpler. It's, it's exactly like simpler. OBS, and you just but, hit go. But also, like the TikTok Studio, they're still missing. Like you can't do screen screens on there. You can't add more than ten. True objects 10 objects like on like 10 sources to yeah. a scene 10 sources i mean it's wow. not meant i don't think it's meant to be like a whole crazy thing you know what i mean? know yeah that's true so like of course i just make my whole overlays on like uh stream elements or whatever then port it in as like you know one overlay yeah yeah smart but yeah yeah, I think it's, it's meant to be like, I think it's more meant to be just one on one, you know, like have a couple of things, yeah. have a little image like, oh, your followers yeah, or whatever, that. you know, but it's not meant to be like a whole Twitch stream with changing all these scenes and, and yeah. going crazy with it, you know, I, and in my mm -hmm. opinion, anyways, you know, um, how, do you ever stream on TikTok by itself or are you always streaming on both I at the same time? Twitch didn't, and TikTok? I didn't for a really long time. Like, okay, I don't know. I was just like nervous to. 
kind because of my the majority of my community was on twitch and like i felt weird just like going on tiktok and not like letting people know <laughs> yeah but yeah. now now it's kind of changed and i and i sometimes do like exclusive tiktok lives and i'll tell people like is this happening on this day and it's yeah, better yeah. and then sometimes i will also do it like at the same time sure but I don't know. It's been weird sometimes with like games. If I'm like doing too many, like if I'm doing like Overwatch, for example, and it's like two streams and it's like a lot's going on on the screen. It, yeah. So yeah, it's not easy. To... <laughs> Plus, it's not easy say. to keep up with uh, Twitch yeah, chat and true. TikTok chat and, and all TikTok, that. Yeah. yeah, it's a lot for rock. sure. Yeah, 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 for sure. When did you start like streaming on TikTok and and Twitch? um what, did you only do that once you got the key or before that i would say it was like maybe like five six months ago when i started okay. doing that um but yeah it was very like different like i feel like things have changed a lot even in this short period of time with tiktok live like they are experimenting yeah with different stuff yeah i noticed they're adding a lot of stuff do mm -hmm. you did you notice like a, a like a, a change in like growth or anything while you were I did. going live? I did notice like it would um when I went live on TikTok it would like alert a lot of my TikTok people that was that was live on Twitch. And like that also too was like a kind of a different audience and it wasn't like cuz there's more like Twitch streamers and stuff. Okay. And right. so it was helpful <laughs> because it wasn't, you know, of course all the people that already watch the stream mm -hmm. so yeah for sure yeah, that was helpful for sure I would say. what's um what's something that like that you didn't expect to happen to you because of this streaming journey mm -hmm. something i didn't <laughs> expect was yeah. that thing was um like <clears throat> getting a sponsorship like uh for hamel which okay. is a like company that is like it's this new social they they were they're not around anymore okay but they like paid me to stream on their site and it was like two times a week i would stream for a couple hours on there it wasn't a site it wasn't like a website it was like a this thing that you download okay and it like ha it created like <clears throat> overlays for the games you could like you know that thing in mario kart where you could like ink the other people the other drivers the ink thing yeah 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 <laughs> It was basically like there was like things like that that you could do to other people like ink and you could like it was also made for like a little bit of younger audience because I was streaming like Minecraft and Roblox a lot okay. at that time. <clears throat> and but people like, like, like thought, viewers could ink your stream like your screen. Yeah. But also it wasn't like <laughs> okay. a stream really. It was like a call kind of it was like discord. Slash okay. Twitch. Like I was sharing my screen and I was in a call with like. Oh, OK yeah no oh, it's like a call cool. with like nine other people but also <laughs> that's the max it was nine so not every time there would be like nine in there but okay. then once it would fill up to like 10 people there could be like lurkers that could watch but mm. it was like because i had never like really been like you know paid by another company to like stream per hour yeah that yeah. was kind of crazy that was that's like cool for sure kind of like a um I don't know. I was very happy about that. It was an accomplishment in my yeah, stream career for sure. Cool. Good yep. stuff. How did you come across that? Was it just because you're streaming a lot of Roblox and Minecraft or? Yeah, I, I didn't like, reach out to them. I just like got a message one day in my discord um, DMs. And then I was like, ooh, I was like, ooh, this looks interesting. And then they like wanted to schedule a call with me to like talk more about it. And then I got offered to like do that opportunity and then cool. i even like kind of told them about like other i told them about some other i told them about ali <laughs> and i said oh you should maybe you know yeah, you know? yeah. so yeah nice. I, like <laughs> I, I told them about some of my friends and so that's how like we got involved with that but and they're not have, around you said they're not around anymore yeah they're not around because they got they like joined the uh, roblox like development team Okay. Which is really cool because, like, now I know people yeah, in true. that team. Like, I was messaging, like, the CEO of Hamill, like, every, almost 
it was like every week, a couple times a week. I would message her a lot. And now she's like working at Roblox, which is really cool. So it's tell like her to hook you up, man. You're always streaming yeah, Roblox. Yeah, no, I know. Where's I'm the sponsor like, streams, man? <laughs> like, give me that. Give me that. I, I think they call it star code or something. You get like a percentage of money every time someone buys like Robux or something. Yeah, yeah, like a Fortnite creator code for sure. Yeah, basically. Come on. But then, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what happens. But yeah, do you still stream a lot of Roblox or not as much anymore? I still do, but I'm trying to not like make that like my like only thing I stream. Because sometimes it does like get a little like, like, like there's a lot of people that come to my stream for that game. So then when I'm like not streaming it and they're like, eh, I'm like, yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> so like sometimes when I notice the stream too, is like being a little bit like too like, you know, Roblox, Roblox. I'm like, OK, we're going to stream about the games. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, they're too like because I do want to be a variety streamer at the end of the day sure for sure i mean it also <gasps> makes it special too when you're when you stream once in a while you know when you're always streaming the same yeah, thing or whatever exactly makes it, it mixes it up especially if you're trying to be a variety streamer and you're always playing the same thing it's mm -hmm. uh you know so what's like tell us what is like what are what are some of the the strengths maybe that you have that you felt helped you grow to this to this point. I mean, you have almost six thousand followers on Twitch, which is crazy. <laughs> and uh, um, even on Twitter, your Twitter is huge. Like, how? Like, what is it about Grantis? Like, what's a, what's something that you had in the past? You know, uh, that a strength that you had that that helped you get here. I would say I like face. I I would say I like give people their you know individual attention and like kind of keep keep the stream hype and stuff is one of my like strong suits i would say <laughs> I don't know. yeah 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 i agree i would say that <laughs> um i agree with that from being in your streams yeah also like i don't know the type of games that i play i just think are like really fun like at the end of the day you have to choose the games that you are you like and that you're interested in because the, your community is gonna like see if you're not really into it mm. they're gonna like they're going to feel that vibe from you. So you really yeah. do have to like, you know, play what you want. Yeah, and for sure. I agree with that. I agree with that. Is there a game recently that you played that you didn't really vibe with on stream? Um, I can't, I don't think so. Yeah. I usually like do a poll on, on my stream <laughs> I, and every single game that I put on that poll, like if I'm not feeling a game, I'm not going to put it on that poll. But if it's on okay. that poll, I'm like, I'm down. Like I could play this game, this game, this game, this game right now. I'm like, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. I find that sometimes if there's a game that I'll play, then like I can play it for fun or I could play it offline. But when I'm streaming it, I find it could be like a different experience. You know? It's, yes. Sometimes no, you can't that. really be involved with chat. Like, it, like if I'm playing mm -hmm. like ranked Valorant, for example, and I really care, <laughs> oh my you gosh. know? Like yeah. I, it's hard for me to it's like so create the content and be silly or be fun or whatever I want to be doing. You're also trying you know? to win. Yeah, you know. So I usually end up losing mm -hmm. the games, but then it's it's no, really I good didn't. content, you know. <laughs> it's, it's so usually, hard. It's usually funny, so it's kind of like you know, you got to pick. You got to pick it a little no. bit. That is a struggle. Like some <laughs> games, it's so easy. I mean, some games, it's like, like, I feel like Minecraft and Roblox, it really is like a lot easier for me to like pay attention and like, mm -hmm. um, you know, keep the chat involved and stuff. But I don't yeah. know. There's just some games I'm like, like, especially the competitive ones where I just get so like focused in. I'm like, yeah. You know, I think it's cool though sometimes to get focused in. Yeah, I think it's true. fun to watch a streamer yeah. just like get absorbed in it a little bit especially if they're having yeah. fun you know if they're mm -hmm. having fun and like they're into they it it's cool that. but if they're like getting <laughs> super intense and then they're all pissed off because they're losing the game then it's like eh, maybe it's it's not so yeah. fun <laughs> exactly like lock you know? lock vaness i was watching the last episode she was talking about at like she originally was streaming call of duty right. and like how that kind of gave off like her it was it kind of made her more like mad <laughs> you know that and she, her vibe yeah. is usually she's not mad she's cozy she's amazing chill like yeah, you know exactly you could change that game and like kind of see how that game is making you on stream and true changes change your, it up change you your whole vibe changes your stream changes yeah 
it kind of brings out like different personalities, different mm-hmm. sides of you. So if that's kind of not what you want to be doing, you know, then yeah. you got to switch it up. Um, what, what is it? What is, um, what, what's, what's my, my question? What advice would you give to a new streamer that's looking to grow? Um, a new streamer, I would say, of course, like there's the obvious, um, make TikTok content, make YouTube content. Yes. <laughs> I've heard that a billion times, but also, I don't know, maybe like. You could use some, some some people like grow a lot. I would say like off certain categories on Twitch, like look around on Twitch, find those uh, categories that are not like at the very top, but not like at the bottom. It's like a sure. good sweet spot in the middle. Right. Mm-hmm. And like I grew my stream off playing like it was a lot of Brawlhalla. There was Brawlhalla. There was Jackbox. There was a deceit, which is kind of a dead game now but you know you was find those... a, a big like community game like where people join oh, yeah, in I, oh yeah i i it was like brahala with viewers <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and everyone would join <laughs> it was like uh you could join up to like i think it was like eight people so of course okay. there is like oh also that's another tip oh my gosh that's a good tip find What's games here? too that you could like play with your community like Jackbox or like Brawlhalla, mm. for example, where like you can invite them in to join. You don't have to be in a call with them if you don't want to. Sure. You don't have to like you could just play and talk to them in the chat. And yeah. The vibe. Sure. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I agree with that. I agree with that 100%. Um, cool, cool, Grantis. So what's coming up? What's, what's upcoming for Grantis? I know that you do have a YouTube channel. Is yes, that something we're gonna see My a little YouTube, bit more of. I'm I'm trying to like post super consistent on YouTube Shorts. Like I'm gonna do scheduling for like all of December. Nice. <laughs> I'm gonna try. I'm doing it right now so that when December hits, yes, it'll sir. be ready. Let's so do it. That's the plan. And then also, event eventually, um, I want to do also like branch out make more like long form content okay. um not 100 percent short like don't have 100 percent sure like what that is but i do have like ideas and okay some good ones hopefully are they gonna be around gaming like games and stuff I and think streaming they and stuff, are or? okay it's gonna be around like gaming and also kind of maybe not even like playing the games like i it could just be like some sort of sit down and talk okay. with with people because like people i feel like people watch my stream for like hours right sure. they are not gonna they're not gonna like be it's, it's a 10 minute video it's not gonna be like yeah, a lot yeah. Of them to sit, you know <laughs> and, <laughs> no, and sure. i feel like there's some like topics that like i can't always talk about on stream and like constantly bring up it's like it's better to just have it in like a youtube video and then like mm. let my community know about certain things and like it's just better way of communication as well that's true that's true like um like little announcements and stuff like that will we see a face reveal on youtube for grantis no i'm never (laughs) showing my face (laughs) no cool man all right so uh go to the youtube.com slash grantis that's where we can check you out oh yeah also i'm trying to like hit (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> my goal i'm trying to hit 1000 subbies 1000 subscribers or four nice. you're close i saw you at like uh, you're close i saw you we'll see i saw you in the 800s you're almost yeah. there the shorts are doing really well man the shorts are doing well they do uh mm-hmm. they bring views youtube is giving out views they yeah, got to with tiktok so uh be posting and the also for sure. actually one of my instagram reels too like popped off i don't know i i was shocked because <laughs> i never have like it was like I opened my Instagram and I saw like, you know, the little notification goes, it said 100 likes. And I was like, it's like 100 <laughs> likes. I was like, that's a lot, right? <laughs> I clicked on it. It was like a thousand. It was like actually a thousand likes. And Whoa. I was like, nice. Oh. <laughs> and the video got like 15,000 views. So Whoa. people do like, sl- I don't know, people may- might sleep on r- Instagram reels, but mm-hmm. I don't know, Instagram reels kind of kind of cracked sometimes but is it like like. consistent like do you have some sort of consistent views like 
or no. like no, youtube I mean, sometimes i get like 10 views on a short and i'm like yeah. but on tiktok it got like a thousand let's say you know it's dude i feel that like recently though it's been like sometimes actually recently it's been i've been getting a lot of views on instagram reels and youtube and then my okay. tiktok is like not doing as well right now but then hmm. sometimes it flip-flops yeah. my tiktok also starts popping off and then my other sh yeah i'm like oh uh. <laughs> but i don't know we'll never we'll, we'll never understand we'll never understand we'll never, i think <laughs> the algorithms are crazy who knows man you got to get your friend over at uh, roblox the ceo to tell us what the hell's going on with the algorithms yeah, seriously <laughs> seriously cool man um i got one last question for you but okay. what i want to do is open up the chat to some q a uh so Ooh. if you guys have any questions for me or for grantis feel free to come over into the twitch chat and yes. uh, type your questions um like i said anything stream related if you guys want some help some tips some whatever it may be we might not get into the personal stuff but uh i will be uh, i will be screening the questions from chat and i'll be uh asking grant some stuff <laughs> um but what we do have is actually we have a question that came up uh from tiktok earlier today mm -hmm. that asks uh what type of changes should a streamer make if they don't see growth in their average views and this comes from Dova Supernova. Thank you very much for that question. Mm hmm. Don't see growth in your average views. I would say that you should like kind of see what you're doing on stream. Like see if you could change, like, I don't know, change maybe the vibe of your stream. You don't want to change your personality, of course. Like, so be yourself, but like, yeah. See if there's something that you can like, and maybe an event or something, or like some sort of like, I don't know, a tournament or something to get people like into it. It's, it is, it is hard though. I also like posting on TikTok and YouTube, of course, if your views are low. Also, don't mm -hmm. expect that like when you're starting, it's just constantly. Ooh, what? Plus one viewer. Oh, I got another. Oh, this one's gonna stay. This one, like, it's gonna be up and down. Like, you're gonna, your your views are gonna change based on maybe what game you play, maybe sure. how you're feeling that day, and that doesn't like define you. At the end of the day, you just just a number. Yeah, that's very true. That's very true. I think it's it's common. I, I think it's a good point that you said. You know, a lot of people don't realize that there's kind of like these plateaus. And I mm -hmm. think it's like something that either the streamer needs to learn or, you know, yeah. add. There's something that needs to get upgraded either internally, like in themselves. Mm -hmm. It's not like you need to add an overlay to your stream. Like an overlay is not going to add an, uh, more yeah. viewers or more followers, you know. It might be like, oh, that thing looks kind of cool. But if they don't really mm -hmm. vibe with your stream, then whatever you know but i think these plateaus are normal and i think everybody hits them you can look at even the biggest streamers out there that have you know five or ten thousand viewers uh you'll you could look at their path and then they'll be mm -hmm. stuck at ten thousand for a few months like whoa they were growing so much why are they not at twenty thousand right um so yeah. i think everybody kind of has their their plateaus uh and i think you're right like doing doing a little seeing what more that you can do go a little bit beyond um the content that you're creating now and do some events some tournaments some whatever it might be a little mm -hmm. bit extra you know to uh, to go above and beyond on top of posting on tiktok for sure for yes. sure a lot of streamers end up starting creating content on youtube right like what you're doing gratis so mm -hmm. um once you're creating more content different types of content like longer form videos that's that's kind of like going to the next level right and that yeah. reaches a whole different audience on a whole different platform for sure that's going to bring in uh bring in some growth so i think that's what I think this, some of those things could could help. So that's a really good question. Thank you for that. Um, let's also, go. Also, uh, kindness did say to rewatch your vods and critique yourself. That is kind of a good, a good tip as well. Definitely, like kind of yeah. just see. I don't know. It could just be like your stream is super like i don't know blurry or something, and that's why <laughs> you're not having getting as many views as you were the other day or something yeah. like. Yeah, I always said that. I always said that no one, you can't rely on anyone to kind of tell you that something is wrong. You know, if people mm -hmm. come into your stream, especially if you're a small streamer, you don't really have a, a solid community yet or oh, mods yeah. yet that are there to like take care of you. If you're, you know, just starting out, people are going to come in, see that your stream 
might not be up to snuff and they'll just be like I'm, i'll move on to the next person mm -hmm. you know they're not gonna be like hey your audio sucks or your audio's off or your webcam's frozen like that's yeah. kind of on you at the beginning and it kind of sucks because as a new streamer you're just learning how to handle all that at once mm -hmm. um but if you can get like a friend maybe to to kind of help out and check you uh for little things like that while you're live i mean that could help yeah. um but at definitely the beginning at the beginning you're definitely gonna have some streams where you're streaming like an hour muted <laughs> yep definitely. no one will come in and tell you you will yeah be mad at yourself but yeah it's fine it happens fine. to everybody you're streaming yeah. in the wrong category or oh, yeah. you know or you're, you're muted happened. or your cam is off whatever it is <laughs> or or you're on the wrong screen you're on full screen and you're playing a game it still happens to me yeah. i mean it happens to everybody it happens to every single streamer so it's okay it's totally normal <laughs> cool so let's go to some uh some questions in chat here okay. um i have a question from combat peach who says which game is your favorite to play on stream um i always <laughs> like just whenever like new people raid me like i always just say uh hi i'm great i'm a variety streamer i play minecraft roblox and valorant those are like my three go-to okay. games and i would but say those are kind of like my if you favorite. had to pick if one, I had to pick one <laughs> yeah one you can only play one more game on twitch that's Bro! the new rules if you want to stream on twitch you have to pick one I game i hate that rule <laughs> what would it be <laughs> um probably if i had to stream one game probably maybe roblox yeah <laughs> but also i really like valorant as well i don't know it's kind of <laughs> we'll we'll say Valorant's roblox. Fun. Valorant's valorant fun. is roblox fun. yeah i mean roblox there's so many games inside of it yeah, it's like a billion games in one so it's it's you're kind of hacking when you go with roblox you know <laughs> yeah exactly i'm not <laughs> cool. picking one game yeah yeah love the question combat thank you for that thank um you. cool panda asks uh would you ever consider streaming on a different platform other than twitch um well i already have of course like those there's a certain times where i only stream on tiktok sure but i don't know like totally leaving my twitch and going to another platform like i honestly don't see myself doing that i'm probably going to be on twitch for like a very 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 long time i i don't know but have we'll you tried streaming happens. on youtube or, I have, or facebook I haven't, I haven't tried streaming on youtube no. i haven't tried streaming on facebook uh, i don't yeah i don't think i've tried streaming anywhere else but twitch tiktok that's about it yeah i think tiktok is like different you know to yeah, uh no, it definitely it's, is. you know it's not like the same thing but i think comparing like facebook youtube and twitch as like a streaming platform you know yeah maybe I don't know, maybe we'll see though who knows who knows you know it's hard like, to tell also, like that far out you know yeah also like i could see myself streaming on youtube but like still streaming on twitch at certain points like hmm. and kind of doing both in a way yeah yeah why not might Maybe be the that. future might be the way of the future mm -hmm. <laughs> for sure um all right thanks for that uh cool panda i appreciate the question man thank you uh, cool johnny johnny appleseed asks grant is how do you keep up a conversation on a slow day like what do you talk oh, about good... once you run out of topics to talk about that's a good i that's a good question johnny Very good question. um I talked to you, Johnny. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> Actually, though, no, but um, low day. I mean, I always before a stream, I kind of have you do that, too, where you like kind of have like a couple of things that you like are going to talk about, you yep. know, for sure. But when you, when you run out, like, honestly, as a streamer who's been streaming for like years and years and years, I could I could just randomly start talking about something and talk about it for so long you guys have no <laughs> idea it's like kind of it's kind of a skill to be honest i don't know yeah i think so i think it's something that you can build up for sure yeah and like but you know it, it might it's kind of hard you know like keep to keep it always entertaining mm -hmm. you know <clears throat> yeah, yeah sometimes if you're just oh, like for sure like some people also will just like you know say what's whatever is on the top of their head which i don't know sometimes that could be a good idea but also like maybe we should think before you speak i don't know <laughs> but, yeah yeah no i know what you mean for sure but i think that it's 
I mean, we need to be, you need to be talking though, you know, as a streamer, mm -hmm. there's something that you got to be saying, so stuff that you got to yeah. be, be sharing. Like, and if you do get stuck, mm -hmm. you got to be talking about the game that you're playing or, or bring something up. Cause yeah. I mean, I, I think it's okay to have moments where it's quiet. Like we said before, if you're like mm -hmm. focused on a certain moment in the game that you're playing or, or whatever, if you're doing art, if you're a cooking streamer or whatever, and you're just focused for a little bit, I think it's okay to have those moments of silence or, or, or focus um but i think generally people come to a stream to kind of get entertained and to be spoken to or to got to be yeah. like brought along on the journey you know like all right i'm doing a cooking stream this yeah. is what i'm cooking you know and like to talk yeah <clears throat> to talk about the game and stuff like that that is a good good strategy if there's like not a lot of messages to read in the chat you could like kind of talk about what what is happening in the game yeah um, yeah some people, sure. though, I feel like some streamers, like, might focus on that aspect a little bit too much when they're streaming, like, constantly talking about the game when, like, mm -hmm. there is people in your chat and you could kind of, like, bring up uh, other conversation and make it more interesting. True. But, yeah, I don't know. It's up to you. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. I think different streams uh, might do different things, you know, depending mm -hmm. on what they want to, what kind of community they want to build, if they want to build it all around the game, or if they want to mm -hmm. build a little bit more of a close knit community that, you know, chats with each other, for sure. Cool. Um, I see another question from, uh, from Johnny Appleseed. It could be a really cool question uh, to talk okay. about here. Um, is it okay to explore more games on stream than your regular go to's as a variety streamer? Or does it have to be the same? uh games in order to maintain a community mm, i think oh this question. is a good question johnny what the <laughs> he's crazy okay i think that it does have you kind of you know don't want to go into a stream and if you've you've been streaming like these certain games like, like a lot right and then all of a sudden you just like don't stream any of those games and you just like want to play a new game and you, you you know that could be fine you know but what I like to do personally, and I see like worked with my community, uh, is like slowly introducing a game if you want to start streaming as a variety streamer instead of like fully going in. Like, for example, if I wanted to, because I did buy the new COD, Ooh, we'll nice. see if I actually stream it. But <laughs> I was like, you know, if I stream this game, obviously, like, I'm not going to have as much viewership as <laughs> like I do, which is I'm fine with. But like, but like, it's you also kind of slowly introduce it you're not just gonna i'm not just gonna start stream tomorrow and stream cod the whole freaking time like right. you know you introduce it slowly to the community see how they uh respond to it as well like if they enjoy enjoy you know chatting with you while you're playing some some new games and yeah that's yeah. true i think that's kind of how i look at it yeah, no, I think it's a, it's a good way to do it is to slowly introduce it for sure. Mm -hmm. um, I think that the a streamer's content, like a lot of people think that it's like the game or, or, or something special that they're doing. But to me, it's like, it depends what the streamer, I mean, how do I word this? I think it depends on what the streamer's content is, right? Like if the mm -hmm. streamer is like a just chatting streamer and they're always talking with chat and always engaging and the yeah. game is, is just like a sidebar thing and it's just like there for almost visual interest while you guys are just having conversations. Yeah. And it's kind of it, like the same, right? Yeah. It's like... Then it doesn't really matter what game that you're going to play because it's always the same yes. experience. The experience is always the same. That's what I'm trying to say, right? I feel that. You know, whereas if you're way. like a variety streamer that's always playing like shooter games and you're focused on shooter games, like mm -hmm. for example, like Fortnite, Valorant, Overwatch, uh, these types of games, right? And you're always playing those and cycling and actually trying to create content through those games. Then mm -hmm. if all of a sudden you go over to a completely different game, it's going to be like, well, I'm used to seeing you play all these like shooter games. So yeah. I would expect you to play maybe Call of Duty, the new one, but mm -hmm. I wouldn't really expect you to go and play this like virtual board game game or yeah, something you know like exactly it's, it's like monopoly let's say like it's it's a completely <laughs> different thing you know so yeah true i think that that it also plays a little bit of a factor um cool i like yeah. that great uh good question johnny thank you yes thank that. you johnny um how are we doing for time grantis are you okay you have a couple more minutes um, that we can yeah, uh, we can fine. chat we're, we're okay, good cool yep um pt blue asks what is a hurdle that you see in streams consistently Oh, oh, 
Ooh, I actually wanted to bring this up today. I don't think nice. we talked about it, but <laughs> there are some like streamers that will like, well, I actually had this problem too, as, uh, as I was starting out as I was so scared to go live by myself. Like I, cause I, I originally started like streaming with my cousin. Right. And so I would like, you know, when the chat wasn't as fast and like, you know, he's there to talk to. Yeah. So like, it was hard at the beginning when like there wasn't that uh like there wasn't that constant chat you know and i see a lot of smaller like beginning streamers where they're like only going live with another person which is fine to do but like eventually you're gonna need to like try to you know go live by yourself and yeah. like <laughs> you know and also like some people like get a little uncomfortable when they come into a stream and there is like a group of people talking like mm. or like even like two people talking sometimes it's like i i might know that streamer but i don't know who they're talking to it's like right you know it's a little bit scary maybe but yeah there's a lot going on for sure when you come into that stream it's like mm -hmm. who especially yeah. if you're no cam streamer it's like who's talking who's the streamer exactly. what's going on who are exactly. all these people exactly you know that's why i've been seeing a lot of, of those vtubers that have a thing at the bottom and it's like mm. this is the streamer these are the friends and you can right. like see who's talking in the discord which voice it's like that is so much better than just like the viewer coming in and having to guess <laughs> yeah which voice is the stream. like no no yeah 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 if you're gonna be on a team have some sort of w visual way to show mm -hmm. uh who the heck is talking yeah for sure already coming to a stream you got the streamer you got the gameplay or whatever they're they're doing and then you have chat like i already feel like there's a lot going on for yeah. a viewer uh coming in and then if you have music playing and the game mm -hmm. sounds and then four or five other people yelling in the background it's, it's like a what is going on you know are you talking <laughs> yeah. to them or are you talking to us like are you talking to chat or are you talking to your your friends you know so mm -hmm. yeah that that can get a little bit uh a little bit crazy i do see that too that's a yeah. that's a good point um all right i got a question from cool panda again thank you for your questions guys we love them keep them coming thank you um, is there a streamer or content creator that you look up to? If so, who? Um, I already said I already said I look up to Miss Kiff. Uh, that's one. And then there's also like other streamers I look up to, like smaller content creators, like smaller streamers and stuff, like from the TikTok space, like Mama Tamago, of course, Catliente, all those people I do look up to a lot. And yeah. Let's say, oh, you too, of course. I watch a lot of your freaking videos. <laughs> Thank you, dude. Um, I appreciate that. <laughs> and that's yeah. nice of you. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Thank you, dude. I agree. All those are amazing streamers for sure. Yes. Um. All right. I think we got. We might have one last question that I see in okay. chat uh, until we call it for the night. So if you guys have any other questions for me or for Grantis, now is your time. Ask now or forever hold your pizza. Uh, Johnny oh. asks, what's the best way to promote your Twitch if you plan to be a... All right, we don't call them faceless streamers around here. So so some of you guys might not know this, but there's a there's some contention. A there's a con some contention between me and Cat Liente, okay? Cat Liente calls them faceless streamers. What? I need to call her. I need to give Wait. her a call. We need to have a talk. I'm done. Wait. I'm calling Wait, it out there. have a face. Clip it. Tiger in it. I don't care. Caliente, please Caliente. stop calling them faceless Kissed. streamers. Kissed. All streamers have faces. Okay? Yeah, Caliente. <laughs> They're not faceless. They're no cam <laughs> streamers, guys. It's simple. It's the <laughs> camera they don't have, not the face. I mean, there's a chance that Imagine? they don't have a face. Imagine there's a chance. A face reveal, it's just like skin. <laughs> you know? <laughs> it's just like, I mean, there's nothing. There's I mean, look, nothing. we, you know, there's, you know, there's <laughs> all kinds of people from all different kinds of, uh, you know. Yeah and some there's are there are some streamers with disabilities and things like that that we can't uh you know no hate obviously that's that's not no what i'm hate. getting at that's not what i'm trying to talk about i think no cam streamer is a little bit better uh <laughs> term <laughs> yes. so let's go let's go again johnny appleseed asks what's the best way to promote your twitch if you plan to be a no cam streamer or a png tuber <laughs> or vtuber or uh, uh -huh. and how can you efficiently make content to introduce your twitch using social media it's a good question mm. Grantis, you wanna you wanna start um, I would say, 
like it's kind of similar to even a cam streamer just like introducing those um funny clips and kind of editing them in a in a good way for tiktok and those like short form content especially for the beginning to like focus more on short form content before you get to like um to get people like in the stream i would say before you start doing long form content um long form you mean like youtube videos yeah like youtube videos and stuff not Mm -hmm. yeah not streaming that is long form content yeah (laughs) it's extra long um (laughs) but yeah it's like you could like show you don't have to be afraid to like show your personality too like even though you're not you don't have your camera on you could still show so much of your personality through talking and through your mic and through interactions with the chat so mm-hmm. it, yeah it's for sure. it's not like having a camera is not the biggest deal at the end of the day yeah i think that the way to do it and, and johnny i see what you're writing in chat if you're just starting out too you won't even have any clips i think um yeah first of all in, in like in my opinion if you know for sure that you want to be a streamer and you're gonna you're gonna go into being streaming um then okay we could talk about that but in in my like and we talked about this earlier what i would say is everybody should just start streaming if they want to test it out and they want to see it like don't start making this whole thing and then you're like you know what i actually hate streaming (laughs) you know like maybe you love creating content you like creating youtube videos or you like making uh tiktoks and skits and things like that but then like you're like, streaming. all right, guys, come over to my Twitch and everybody follows and makes a community. And then you, you stream and you're like, man, I actually hate this. You know what I mean? So yeah. what I would say is start the stream, start streaming, play some games. Mm-hmm. Even if there's zero viewers, one, one viewer, it doesn't matter because you are honing your craft. You're getting in there. You're getting used to mm-hmm. using OBS. You're used to Twitch. You're talking and you're just, that is your workshop. That is your time to create that content and make those clips for yourself, you know? So say, okay, this is going to be my first stream. I'm going to go in here. We're going to play this game. We're going to make, we're going to make a couple of clips from it. I have some ideas mm-hmm. and you go in and you record that, right? Or you, you rip the clips uh, off of Twitch, whatever it is. And then you can start posting that stuff over onto TikTok. And when people then go over to your Twitch, because they found you on TikTok and say, oh yeah, this person does stream, right? Whereas yeah. if you promote yourself and then they go to your Twitch and you have zero followers, zero, nothing, you don't even have info panels or banners True, or anything. It's like, is this person really not streaming? Gonna- Am I on the right account? <laughs> yeah, you know. Whereas if they see that you had a, a previous stream, they can go into that stream and see what they're going to expect. A 30 second, mm-hmm. a minute, you know, a 60 second short clip is one thing, but then going to watch like a long stream is a completely different piece of content. So people are going to want to come to your stream and then take a look and see what is going on, right? And what vibe they're going to get from your stream. So I would say go into a stream have fun with it, make some clips, and then post that over to um, over to TikTok. But if you don't want to stream until you have a community, which is also something that, you know, is, is smart to do, so you're not mm-hmm. streaming to zero viewers for like months and months and months, um, is you can record through OBS. OBS doesn't only stream to Twitch. Um, you can record with it. So you can, I don't know, pretend like you're streaming and make some clips with your gameplay or with yourself or whatever it is, and then post that over to uh, over to TikTok as you well. You get so- nervous like recording, like like because I when I try to like record anything, I'm like since I'm a streamer, you know, it's like so much easier to just start a stream and like I feel natural, like I'm talking to people and stuff. Yeah. But then when I go to record, if I go to record a video, <laughs> I'm like sitting there like all awkward, <laughs> and I'm like it's so. So, uh, uh, i'm like stuttering and stuff but then i'm like perfectly fine on stream i know it's weird what? i don't know why why I, is that a me thing too, i'm the same thing like when i'm live yeah. this is like my safe space like yes. i'm here like and and i think it's because the expectation is different when mm-hmm. you're live and you trip up on your words or you know you stutter or you can't think of the right thing whatever it is it's like it, you're live it's like you're having yeah. a conversation with somebody else it's like normal expectation whereas when you're recording for an official video, like you want all the words to be perfect. You want it to be, you know, spoken in a short amount of time that it makes sense. It's concise. Right. Mm-hmm. So I think you just want it to be a little bit more of like a professional flair versus um, yes. just like a natural conversation. I think that's kind of what what trips us up. <laughs> Granted, mm-hmm. I know that's anyway, that's how I feel about it. Yeah, um, it's rough. 
<laughs> it can be. Um, yeah. I hope that answers your question. Uh, Johnny, thank you. Thank you for it. Appreciate it. Um, we got a question from Bunny Raylin who says, How long have you been a streamer? Uh Grantis and the Beach. Um, for me, it's been like five years. But of course, like I don't like for everyone, the journey is gonna be different. Like some people might go to my channel and be like, whoa, he's been streaming for five years. He only like, I don't know, <laughs> he only has this amount of followers or something, but like everyone starts from somewhere and like um Has anyone ever was... actually said that to you? <laughs> no, but like I feel like <laughs> There's definitely people who like compare other people like, oh, this streamer has been on Twitch for five years and they're already a partner and have this many followers. But like, oh, they started from an actual computer <laughs> that could run games. No, I, yeah, but not you, everyone starts think that from way. that. Not everyone Grand starts we, from that. We can't think that way. We can't think that way. Like if they don't actually say it to us, we can't assume it's true because there's so much comparison that goes on, especially in the no, content creation true. space that I, I just want to cut that off for both of us. Yeah, and no for anybody compare, listening, you know, don't compare yourself like you others. can't even compare yourself to yourself, uh, I think. Mm -hmm. And it's it could be like it's just completely different. Right. And I, I just mm -hmm. want to say that, like, if people are not saying those things to you, don't think them. It's not true. If it comes into your head, just say, <laughs> shut up. It's not yeah, true. It's true. <laughs> you know, because listen, there's so many people on Twitch with thousands of followers. I know people with 20, 25,000 followers and they have maybe 20 or 30 viewers or less. Yeah. Like the number of followers um, I don't want to say that the number of followers are meaningless, but the mm -hmm. number of followers that you have don't really correlate to the number of viewers or to the fact True. that if you're an affiliate or a partner or not. Like that stuff doesn't mm -hmm. even matter. And I don't know if you guys saw this uh, it happened uh, recently. I think it was in October, the beginning of October, if I'm not mistaken. But um, Ninja is no longer a partner on Twitch. Oh, is yeah. he no longer the nope. biggest streamer in the world? Bro, the kid has like 10 million followers. Are you guys not going to say that he's a big streamer? The, the partner badge and all that stuff. It's silliness. It's silliness, right? Mm -hmm. You are only as good as you believe that you are, right? So don't, mm -hmm. don't, don't look at other streamers and, and, and all that kind of stuff. If you guys are streaming and you have a certain number of followers or a certain number of viewers, just keep going. Just keep grinding. Keep keep working on the thing. And some people's goals are not even to become a partner. Some people's mm -hmm. goals are not even to That's true. have a lot of viewers. You know, like there's they're so just many chilling people with their community. It's yeah. like not they're not exactly. trying to push for that. Exactly. There's a couple of streamers I I I know and that I watch that have full time jobs. They're making mm -hmm. money through other forms of whatever they're doing with their life, and they just stream this experience to just show it to more people like their goal is yeah. to hope that someone comes in and gets exposed to this like new cool thing like th that whatever they might be doing like i don't know let's say they're like painting right it's like i don't really care if you follow if you're a viewer if you're a community member it's like i just want to show painting to the world and if you get yeah. interested into painting like cool you know so we we don't know like what people's goals are and and all that stuff so it's something i i wouldn't really worry about yeah True. um for me to answer your question of how long i've been streaming um so officially i've been streaming like seriously for mm, i would say two and a half years um but i did like do some streams in the past like four or five years ago where i would stream like through my playstation and uh, uh, I, I actually see. i actually bought a capture card uh like what year are we 2022 i bought it in 2014 so that's like eight years ago um that wow. i had i i bought a capture card and i was ready to start like creating content and go live on twitch and all that stuff and for whatever reason i just i didn't do it in the end um but but yeah a few years later i said okay i'm gonna try it i started streaming through playstation i liked it again life happened and i didn't stream properly and then um march 2020 or just before covid actually in february 2020 is uh was my first stream yeah, back i guess i would say i had like 40 i think I had 49 followers so i needed one more follower to hit oh like twitch affiliate and That's uh and me. a couple of streams you know with some viewers and then boom uh just so i just it started and never stopped so was your stream like it, it wasn't consistent you said at the at the beginning 
Right. Well, it was just, it was more of like testing. Like I wanted to see if I enjoyed it. You know, I just wanted mm -hmm. to stream the game no, that I, I was that. playing and I just wanted to see like, what, what is the streaming thing? Like, is this something mm -hmm. that I could actually do? Is it something that I'll enjoy? And I did. All I was streaming was through my PlayStation. I didn't have any overlays, no follow alerts, none of that Wait, stuff, you know? PlayStation, doesn't it like every time your viewer count updates, mm -hmm. doesn't it pop up? Yeah. And I would, and what's I would so it. weird i could not <laughs> what's not so weird is that it shows the viewer count and the chat yes so then like everybody sees chat and then chat it's like Wait. it's, it's a weird oh, the chats on the screen yeah because that's the only screen that the the streamer has to oh, see so then your what? gameplay gets cut oh. in half <laughs> no i yeah. think i've seen yeah i've seen a couple of those yeah yes, four streams so but yeah it's kind of it's kind of it's kind of weird but i would say if you're just starting out or you don't know try it try streaming mm -hmm. through through like the xbox app or um or the twitch app on xbox or on playstation and just try it you know it's a it's a completely yes. different experience uh from them just playing your game by yourself you know a lot of the streamers out there they're like oh well i'm playing games anyways i might as well stream it's not really the same experience mm -hmm. to be a streamer and that creates content versus streaming games, games you know 20 yeah, it, not 20 years ago but like 12 years ago when twitch just came out that you you might have you know built maybe a community that way mm -hmm. um but nowadays you really need to be a content creator first and a streamer almost second you need to have a love to create content because there's no way um in this in this day and age that you can really become a successful Twitch streamer without going out there and creating content on TikTok or, or, or on True. YouTube and things like that. Unless you really have something super unique, something super special that you're doing, uh, you know, maybe supernatural skills with gaming or whatever it is. Um, <laughs> so yeah, it's a, it's a little bit, a little bit different. It was so yeah, weird when I first started streaming. Cause like there wasn't the TikTok. like I could like, mm. There wasn't really like the stream tip. I mean, there was like, of course, the stream tip YouTube videos that I watch like TikTok. I, I don't I, I don't think it was the thing really. Twitch, TikTok. That was more. Well, no. That's more recent. I mean, yeah, there, there, that wasn't really a thing. No. I, and that's funny because I, I wanted to ask you because you've been on Twitch for well, streaming on Twitch mm -hmm. for five years. And I kind of wanted to ask mm -hmm. you, like, has there been like some big changes over the past five years that you noticed as a streamer? That... um big changes like within my own content or like on the platform on the platform like with twitch like as a streamer yeah. like things that are like i was on twitch before they had like gifted sub like i've seen a lot of like sh those sort of features that like have been added that like have of course like made streaming like a lot better for streamers and stuff yeah, yeah. but i don't know a specific I'm trying to think. I mean, that's cool. Yeah, I, seeing gifted subs come in, even cheering yeah. the bits, that's more new, right? Mm hmm I don't... I think there... I don't know if there was bits, actually. I don't know. I, I forgot. When you first started, yeah. you can't remember? Oh, even, <laughs> like, the, the like, first-time chatter thing. That, when that oh, yeah. came out, oh, I was so hyped. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I out. mean, that was brand new. That was, like, this year. Yeah. Yeah, that was but, cool. No, because I was, like, too... That was, like, a thing where, like, people would come back in my stream sometimes, which, like, I know mostly everyone who comes into my stream and out, but like if you hadn't really came in for like, I don't know, a good like couple of months or maybe yeah. longer, and then you come in and I'm like, I didn't know if it was a first time chatter or if they, you know, yeah, yeah, are yeah. returning. So sometimes I'll like click out my game, click on their name really quick. When they're, <laughs> oh, oh, they were following. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. And then I'm like, hey, I'm back, you know, yeah. but like that feature as a it's just helpful because then you like the mods even know right and your True. community can like welcome all the new people into the stream and like make mm -hmm. them feel special and i actually made a like tiktok about that and like saying like how the uh first time chatter feature like helped my grow my stream like it because it did it helped mm -hmm. grow my stream because people would come in and they would feel like everyone's welcoming them in and they would you know chill and, and, and follow and stuff yeah, and then yeah. someone was like, someone commented, they're like, y uh, this feature is helping you grow. It's not even like, it, they're like, it's not putting you on the front page or anything. Like, you're lying. You're just trying to farm impressions. Oh, my God. There's <laughs> always like, somebody what? in the comments. There's always somebody in the comments. 
I was like, what the hell? And it was like a big streamer too that said that. I was like, no. Okay. Like, <laughs> clearly you don't understand how it works, but. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. And then I like, yeah, made like a whole response to that comment and saying like, no, like I explained it like and that comment that was like my first TikTok that ended up going like crazy. And this it was like also bell. I it was I also drama. This. It was drama with the other person that commented yeah, that. Don't name but, drop them, but Yeah, I won't. But yeah. It was <laughs> it was a it was a whole big deal, but Yikes. Some people just don't understand. They don't I know. it's hard. That's what I'm saying. Is a 30 second TikTok message is really hard to like you know yeah. share what you want to share and say what you want to say it's yes. like it's a different uh you and know. So, there's always one person that's going to take it like oh i don't know like i saw a tweet the other day talking about like oh my god it was talking about like lurking right and like and like you announcing yourself and lurking in the stream like you don't need to do that like it was basically oh, yeah. saying like like I don't know, but there was so many responses on Twitter that like everyone was like, like, you don't appreciate lurkers and stuff, but it could have just been like the way they worded it maybe yeah. sounded like worse than like, yeah, I know. I, I saw that too. And I was like, man, Twitter is really getting out of hand these days, you know, <laughs> no. like uh, to streamers out there, I suggest you get a Twitter, but like, don't go no. on it. <laughs> <laughs> go it's, on Twitter. Yeah. Get know? Twitter. Don't go. <laughs> It's just it just tweet your thing to your community and get the heck yeah. out of there. No, okay, that streamer what I think see again, it's really hard to like get your full message across on these yeah. types of platforms, and then it's right? Like, and then they're in the comments like for all the people that took this wrong, like I meant like yeah. this and then they're like trying to like yeah. explain it, but it's like like some people are just going to scroll, read that and be like, "Oh, that, like, keep scrolling." Like yeah. they kind of True, true. Yeah, exactly. What I what this person was trying to say, for, just for anybody that's listening, is mm -hmm. from what I read and what I understood was they were complaining that people just come into the stream, just type exclamation lurk, and then they like leave the stream mm -hmm. because they maybe go themselves to go stream or whatever it is. And it's kind of like obvious that it's like they're just coming in just to say that they're lurking, but then they're not actually like there at all. And mm -hmm. I, I think that that's where they were saying it's not really something that I experience. Yeah, um, I don't have a, you know, I don't I really but have a problem with that. I would think. That's kind of like what they were explaining when I was reading further into the thread, like people that are just trying to say like, hey, I'm watching like I'm leaving a tab up on a stream. Like, I hope that you do it for me, too. Like, that's kind of where oh, they were yeah. going with it. But uh, yeah, their I message was that. like, why do you have lurk and unlurk commands? It's like. No, that's not what you're trying to say. What you're trying to say is you don't like people coming in and saying, I'll watch you if you watch me. That mm -hmm. was should have been the tweet. You know, I think that's yes. what, what happened. That actually clarifies it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> cool, Grantis, man. Uh, is there anything else that, that uh, you want to share with, uh, uh -huh. with, with, with the people, with your community, with uh, the streamers out there that are, that are looking to grow? Is there any final messages mm -hmm. that, you wanted to, uh, that you wanted to share? uh i think i think we I think we said it all <laughs> I think, yeah <laughs> i think we're pretty good i cool man awesome yep. cool well, you got this. thank you very much man for being here uh and for your time for yes, your for course. letting us in to the, no to the what is what do you have a name for the grantis community the mantis crew the mantis mafia oh yeah actually <laughs> <laughs> no i kind of made that one up i, I don't really have a have a community name Okay, but. I'm just curious. But it's the Mantis Mafia now, so okay, cool. <laughs> so thank yeah. you, and to the Mantis Mafia. <laughs> no, thank oh you, man, for gosh. coming, bringing the community over, yeah, no and problem. letting us into your uh, to the, your behind the scenes of uh, of, of who Grantis is. If you guys aren't following, um, please go give a follow over to Grantis. Make yes. sure to follow him on his Twitch, and he's trying to grow his YouTube channel too. There's gonna be lots of good content coming. Uh, very very soon so go subscribe to grants youtube links will be down below in the description and if you're here thank live on you. twitch it'll be in the chat as well so grantis yeah. thank you very much man for being here i appreciate you no are you problem. are you streaming today or tonight um i'm probably gonna be sh be live tomorrow actually Perfect. live just like probably middle middle of the day <laughs> you don't even have a time just, <laughs> perfect just gotta go with the flow <laughs> all right well we're all following you we got our notifications Yay. on so we'll be there man yay i'm happy <laughs> bye cool, <dude>. everybody <laughs> bye grantis thank you very much bye. for being here man